news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Ministry of Tourism is once again spreading love to Canada by inviting Canadian couples to register to win the wedding of a lifetime. As the Ministry of Tourism official launches its 16 weddings invitation, the initiative will enable 16 lucky Canadian couples to have their dream wedding at 16 different locations simultaneously throughout the Bahamas. The promotion aims to solidify the Bahamas' position as the premier destination for weddings and honeymoons, as well as increase the profile of the family islands. Now the contest closes on June 10, 2016 and winners will be announced on June 16th. The lucky winner's wedding date will be scheduled for November 16th, 2016. And six lucky kids from Grand Bahama are set to travel to Miami, Florida tomorrow to watch an exciting NBA basketball game between the Miami Heat and Chicago Bulls, courtesy of the Ministry of Tourism. The ministry's Plantation Florida office has coordinated with the children charity organizations here on Grand Bahama to host during special Bahamas nights. Director of Tourism Betty Bethel says that this time around, it is a pleasure to host children a part of the Urban Renewal 2.0 program. Director of Sports Tourism says he's sure that the kids will never forget this experience. The Bahamas Night is a part of a partnership that we have with Miami Heat Basketball Association. And uh, we use this opportunity to promote the islands of the Bahamas. And tomorrow night it will be all about Grand Bahama Island. And the kids will have an opportunity to view the game perhaps meet some of the players, the cheerleaders, and just have this awesome experience while they actually participate in the promotion of Grand Bahama Island during this game. I can assure you, Ms. Reckley, that these youngsters will be extremely excited being at the game, being in the skybox with the Miami Heat Chicago Bulls Tuesday night uh, in Miami Heat Arena. It's going to be a fantastic opportunity for them, and as you mentioned, it will be something that they will never forget for all their lives. Deputy Director of Urban Renewal 2.0 Michelle Rackley says that she is thankful and grateful that these children will be able to experience this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The group will travel on Tuesday and return on March 2nd. You could have carried any other organization and you know for us we deal with a lot of downtrodden persons and these children would have an experience of a lifetime, an experience that they may have never ever had before and I am so grateful we are sending three boys, three girls and we chose them carefully. These children are involved in basketball in their schools. They know basketball so I'm sure that this experience would last a lifetime and thank you so much again on on behalf of Urban Renewal 2.0. In other news, the month of February was celebrated as National Heart Month and health officials use that time to place greater emphasis on heart health. Tonight, Sabrina Brown talks with a leading cardiologist about heart disease in the Bahamas. Cardiologist Dr. Winston Forbes says, heart disease remains the leading cause of death in the Bahamas. Organizations like the Grand Bahama Heart Association continue to do their part to create an awareness about good heart health and Dr. Forbes believes their message of prevention is vital. One of the major limitations is actually knowledge. And the reason why I say knowledge, the best way to treat heart disease is not by waiting for the disease to happen, but to prevent it. So it means getting to know your risk factors. So being in touch with your blood pressure, your cholesterol, um, your blood sugars, um, maintaining a, a certain level of um, exercise activity on a weekly basis. So all those things are more important uh, to try to get those message out. While many believe men are more prone to heart disease, the leading cardiologist clarified this misconception. Many of the studies that are done on evaluating heart disease were done um, you know, years ago where the population base was just men. And uh, up until uh, um, 20, 30 years ago, there were still a lot of doctors who believed that women didn't have a significant um, amount of heart disease, which is clearly false. Dr. Forbes is advising women to pay closer attention to cardiovascular care. I think women do a relatively good job of making sure their um, reproductive organ part, the trials of breast and the um, pap smears, mammograms are done. But when it comes to checking for their heart, that tends to take the back seat. Unfortunately, even when a woman presents to 
um, a physician with complaints of chest pains, they're more likely to be told that they're stressed out or they're menopausal or that's not significant, and they're less likely to be referred for proper investigations. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network News. And now it is time to ask the doctor. I will discuss a few more important points on heart disease, especially in women. Diabetes and metabolic syndrome, which is a combination of fat around your belly area, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high triglycerides, all have a greater impact on women and increases the risk of heart disease significantly more when compared to men. Mental stress and depression affect women's hearts more than men. Smoking and a lack of physical activity are also major risk factors, and as a group, women tend to be less active. Low levels of estrogen after menopause pose a great risk. And finally, pregnancy complications such as high blood pressure or diabetes during pregnancy can increase a woman's risk long-term, not only in the mother, but potentially in her children as well. If you are a woman at high risk of heart disease because of one or more of these conditions, See your doctor as soon as possible. I encourage you to make wiser choices to lower your risk by eating healthy and becoming more physically active. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. And this reminder, the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, and members of the Constitutional Commission will meet with the Grand Bahama Christian Council and other religious leaders at the Delphine Room at the Pelican Bay Resort tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. The gender equality bills will be discussed. Don't go away. Ricardo Liborn is up next with a Jack on Sports.